I am an 11 year old girl and feminist, and with this TED talk, I want to stand up for women's rights. For centuries, women were often assaulted. They didn't have the right to vote or even go to school, and this is because men thought that females were not smart enough to make decisions. Men have stereotyped women for hundreds of years. There are many stereotypes of women, like women are too emotional, or women aren't smart, women are weak. All of these aren't true. Your gender does not determine how smart you are, how strong you are, or how emotional you are. In order to be a certain gender, you don't have to act a certain way, dress a certain way, or even speak a certain, certain way. Things don't have to be associated with a specific gender. Sports should not be a masculine thing, and baking should not be a feminine thing. Women started fighting for equal rights back in the mid-1800s. Women fought for their rights for almost 100 years until they got the right to vote with the 19th Amendment in 1920. Discrimination of women didn't stop there, so women have continued to fight for equality. Throughout the decades, there have been many feminist icons who worked tirelessly to give women more power. Katherine Johnson was a black woman who worked for NASA in 1953. She worked in a male-dominated field, and the only reason she was allowed to work where the men were working was because she was good at mathematics and was helping put the first men on the moon. Coretta Scott King was known for her marriage to Martin Luther King Jr. and her work for civil rights, but was also devoted to women's rights. In 1966, she helped find NOW, which is a national organization for women. She played a huge role in the organization's development, which is now the biggest feminist group in the United States with over 500,000 members. A proud feminist and journalist named Gloria Steinem led the women's liberation movement in the 1960s and 70s. This is a continuation of the struggle for women's equality. The whole point of this movement was to free women from oppression and male supremacy. This was known as a second wave of feminism that was not just helping women gain legal rights, but was also allowing them a role in the workplace and politics. Kamala Harris is a black woman who was a district attorney of San Francisco and then a California senator. She ran for president in 2020 before being selected to be the vice president in 2021. The feminists I spoke of before made it possible for her to become a woman in politics because of the efforts made by women in history. The rights of women have progressed from the 1800s. Powerful women from our past have allowed more women to have choices in education and careers. But there's more to be done. Everyone should be equal regardless of gender. Imagine a world where your gender did not define you. Imagine a world where everybody had opportunities for success. I want to imagine this world and make it a reality by continuing to promote feminist ideals and equal rights for everybody.